Hello and welcome back everybody to more time City of the Damned where we are just about to start the new day and hopefully getting something nice out of that. New hired swords are new hired swords is basically what we were looking for and also our shipment arrived the Shadow Lord and we've been paid in full. Also Alak and Ogion are back from the injuries. So let's see what kind of new hired swords we got. We are still short on one Dark Soul, I think. So maybe something nice came out of here. Well, apparently not. Here? I gotta look over there. Ah, uh, well, also here it's nothing that I really want. Unfortunately, though. Let's see what kind of mutations these guys have. He's still around. Nothing new here. That's an interesting one. What does that actually do? Increase the chance to pass perception test by 100% and removes the cost. Well, luckily I don't have that, I have to admit. I would not be happy if I would get that. And he has the various faces, the extra face. Dodge and parry, plus 15%. Also, we don't need that, we have already sufficient marauders. Now, let's see what we got in the shop. Since I, as said, started already once the campaign mission, I know that we will need some kind of fire, which I do not have at the moment, therefore I'm not going to go for that. I'm hoping to maybe find some oil bombs of any kind of strength around. So I'm not very fond of these, it's average average, but a hard rating, average average normal rating and a deadly. So let's see if our scouts can find something more to our liking. Just like that one, I would say. Well, the scavengers... Hmm, not the best one, but I think I'm going to try. We are going to take Ogion along again. And... I'm not sure if I want to take Alak, I think. Oh well, let's take him. Esmond will set out and Miss Pancake and Brand will be coming along. I was very happy with the damage he dealt. I need to look though a little bit more into his skills that he can use. So let's see what we'll get. Exploring one of the city's old residential districts, you quickly discover that you aren't alone. Another warband is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. So we will need to look for Johann von Mordborg and Ristorik Metzer to take their lucky charm away. And luckily we are the ones that are deployed close to the wagon and the enemies are a little bit scattered around. At least that's what they say. So I will get of course and obviously because I also don't have any other choice my guys all over here. But I want to get I think to this wordstone field over here. That looks just too nice to miss out on that. For that though, I will just not spend too much time on deploying my guys in a proper way, because they have to be all around anyhow. And there was a little bit of change. Swankel should henceforth be known as Karl. So, and now Ogion is also back and Mr. Muffin of course. Miss Pancake will, as so often, take a first look around, trying to locate the first enemies. Preferably without running into any kind of traps, which as you know does not really work out that well for me most of the time. Well looking at the wordstone field that I was so excited about, it's right over here. It's four shards one cluster. That's okay, we'll take it. And I also think that we have a proper and safe progression from over here towards the enemies. This pancake though went a little bit too far for my liking, so let's fall back a little bit and position her a little bit behind over here. Oh, I actually have seen shortly, I didn't pay too much attention to that because I think it would not have been fixed. I could see the range of the ambush of our impressive unit that hasn't been there for quite some time now. 
so happy. I'm happy that they fixed that a little. I doubt that we will face any enemy in the beginning. So I don't need to be too careful with uh, going into ambush and dodging and any kind of stance. Alak will proceed a little bit more careful than usual. I will try to join into fights, so we have already the overhand or the upper hand um, against our enemies and cause the routing tests. He always has the advantage of causing the... I think he causes um, fear. But you cannot really rely on that really proking. Everybody just follow your leader and Miss Pancake. Also the cluster over there, I'm considering to quickly grab on our way. Everything we have in our pockets is safe. Last time I actually said that I'm not sure why or if the uh, look of Mr. of her brand changed, then I just remembered he always was wearing a hat. That's why I was not so familiar with this stylish hair. A bunch of enemies are moving at that point. And as usual, Mr. Muffin and Ogion will be slowly trying to keep up with the rest of our guys. I didn't pay 100% attention, but it did not look like a demon is around. So... Nobody that will charge us in a flank somehow. The map seems a little bit small, or smaller than other ones. They are not really small at all in my opinion. So I would suggest that all enemies are as well in this area here. So, when Miss Pancake will take a look around here, we should be able to get the first line of sight on the enemies. As you can see, we can barely keep up with our ranged unit. But once there, at least Mr. Muffin, there's a lot of damage coming. I took his uh, two-handed weapon away just so he can wield his weapon twice. A new round has started. So, Miss Pancake, no line of sight for now. Let's take a look around here. Still, nothing that we can see. So let's position ourselves. Just right around here. No, let's fall back a little. No, let, let's not fall back a little. Go into an ambush, you see? Now suddenly... Well, there is a line, but it seems still to be a little bit buggy. You get an estimation of how far it goes, but it doesn't show the whole circle. Or she can't charge to the right-hand side. If an enemy tries to get through there, I'm pretty certain that he's up for quite some trouble. Kano, I would like to keep close to Miss Pancake. Just so he can improve her damage outputs. I think it's just about time to start with that, because the enemy will come towards us. And I would assume it's in this turn already that we meet our first enemies in close combat. Actually, somebody was running around there. Ah, getting close to Mr. Muffin. That saves us a little bit of walking. I just hope that the other enemies are not having the same weird idea. And just ignore Miss Pancake there. But I prefer having Mr. Muffin uh, rather soon in the fight and having him not to run that far 
than him being not in the fight at all for the whole time. And getting over there should not be a big problem for our guys that we just moved right close to here. So we already got four of the words down. Alak, as I said, will run around a little bit defensive. So I'm not going to get too close to the hero unit over there. For sure though, I will get some shots on him. And I think the best option is to shoot at him from over here. And just stay over there so he can't climb up. Cripple him. We finally got our fifth attack point. There we go. Quickly reload and go for another shot. Wilhelm Meyer. Not our target, but for sure somebody we need to kill. At least want to kill. Now, so the second hero unit is right around the corner. Charging on Mr. Muffin, who elegant as he is, just evades and knocks his two handed hammer on this guy's head. That's fine, 24 damage compared to the 80 plus that we dealt. For Carl, though, he's a little bit on an unfortunate position by being so far away. Uh, we will not be able to make that, but if this guy tries to get around here, we will ambush him, so we won't be able to join against um, Mr. Muffin. If we manage to keep all the words down, which is always questionable, that already is a nice amount of money that we could get out of that. And especially as well, reputation. Once the brand will only be able to join next round. Sarkonvel, I will try to get at least one shot on the enemy. Not blocking here the path through though. And still we are able to reload and get a second shot. He's already, well, spiked a little bit. I don't know if that's a proper term. I was looking for the word like a pillow sticked with needles. If the enemies are not coming around now with even more guys, I think that Miss Pancake will take care of our uh, hero that we can see over there. Ogion is just so slow. Well, he gets, <laughs> he gets a little bit more melee damage. Hopefully he will be able to make use of that. Enemy's uh, initiative to drop quite a lot, I have the feeling. Ogion was moving, if I remember right, after the enemies. And now we have four enemies moving after Ogion. I still don't know how that is actually calculated. You know, of course, have the initiative. But why does it switch in between? Reasons for that could, of course, be some kind of morale or buffs and debuffs. But in the first round, I don't think that that happens. Anyhow, let's see what we can do against Alderas Schwarzstein. Not enough. Not enough at all. It was very bad hit hitting from Mr. Muffin. Really, really bad. And a proper chance rolled a 96 and a 93 though. And as I said, since we haven't seen the enemies around here... Let's see... 
Can I charge him proper? I can. So we already don't get the counter attack by getting ambushed. Even though it would have, of course, um, decreased hit chance. Well, let's anyhow try the charge. And with the try, that's exactly what we are doing. Miss Pancake, I'm not happy with that. That makes me much happier. One more attack. I think he might still be able to counter attack us. Ah, not happy with the dodging that we had there either. Uh, I doubt though that Wilhelm Meyer will make it this round. He probably goes down. I have to see if Kano can join the fighting against him. It's quite some way to go. He went though through these buildings here, so we should be able to make our path a little bit shorter than the one of Miss Pancake was. Ah, I didn't like that. It looks though like we can squeeze in right here. Number one. I think I'm not going to cast, I'm just trying to kill him. Really, only has one or two health points left. Well, didn't help him much, down he goes. Still we could have just used our ranged units, but yeah. That worked out just fine. And I think I'm not going to move, I'm just going into an overwatch. Well done, Mr. Muffin. At least this one you can do. Ah, but still getting hit twice, you need some assistance over here. Which should arrive shortly though. I think this just screams like Alak has to join there. Do we want to charge? Yeah, why not? He fails the fear test, that's already a good thing. But he manages to dodge. Alderis as well is non not the target that we have to kill. I would therefore assume that it's the leader and the regular unit, or um, the impressive. Which I wouldn't like, I have to admit. And since these two guys don't do proper damage, we have to join with Brand. Who is quite the damage dealer. Still need to look into giving him some kind of special defense. I'm not sure if he already has the uh, Web of Steel. I think actually he does. And that was not intentionally. I wanted to collect the Wordstone. So, oh yeah, here we can see we had the leader and a regular unit as target. So let's get in position to take them out. I'm almost certain. Or at least I hope, finally, that they start to join us over here. Still, the enemy's initiative is so low. It's fine with me, it gives me the time to first position our guys and then wait for them to come in. I would really appreciate if this guy shows his face close to our fighting here. And he was around somewhere, just at the edge there. I would think that he's right behind the corner there. And even Ogion should be able to make a charge if he comes around. What I will check is with uh, Miss Pancake where the enemies are again. Now the only thing left for this round is seeing 
if Mr. Muffin decides to finally hit the enemy. If both attacks are going in, this guy is also dead. And there we go. Alderas Schwarzhain is history. Just crap on him though. I really would like to finally get some proper weapons. Let's see. Maybe when we are starting to loot various points, we'll find something useful. A new round has started. Miss Pancake, take a look for the enemy's leader. Well, we have somebody over there, one of our targets. I would assume he's in Overwatch, even though I'm wondering why he didn't shoot then already. Let's fall back, move a little bit smarter. Maybe we can get into a charge and still have enough movement points for the um, sidestep, but no. We will be able to dodge, but that would be it. As said, the leader is around the corner as well. First, take care of that guy though. I can move one more. And I think I just go for regular attacks and a dodging. So well, there we go. Nice positioning. I don't think that he can disengage. Would be very close though. But Ristarek Metzer will take for sure some beating right now. And afterwards I will pile basically everybody on the enemy's leader. Well done, Miss Pancake. Happy with these attacks. Now this guy, the impressive ogre, can stay away. Sounds like he was also just around the corner though. Also here, nothing we need. Is there something useful close by? I think a good idea might be to get through here, collect what's on the way already, and get the Chains of Chaos out on the enemy's leader. No, move a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. There we go. No, um, I want to save that movement point actually. No, not going to happen. I could move a little bit better. But this is absolutely worth getting it. The enchantment, of course, is not what I really want. But the fact that it's a purple and therefore reducing each curse even more is just perfect. We really need that. So there we go. Getting Chains of Chaos on the leader. At least that was the plan. What happens? Um, well, he passed the resist. It doesn't happen that often. So there we go. Well, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, let's go for dodging. Now, since this guy is dead, Ala can move forward as well. There's more loot in the building straight ahead. Just need to find it somewhere. Probably upstairs. There we go. The Rod of Clarity. Ah, I don't want that. Also, I forgot that Alak's inventory is actually full. And nobody needs to get up here, so get into the ambush. You guys can finally jump down over here, or basically this guy. The other one is not upstairs. We get line of sight on the leader. No, not like that. I was just checking if it would make sense to get up there and maybe find something to loot, but there's just nothing. Well done, nice shot. 
for Brand. I actually consider bringing Brand in the fight against the leader better sooner than later. Well, close to a charge. Not close enough though. But like that, he will have not the chance to attack our leader unit. Because with his two handed axe, I think he had, he could cause a lot of damage. Carl, start moving in as well. I think there's somebody around there as well. So, you and. Oh, really? No, still, I could move in there though. Let's cause some damage on Malren Schleiser. Well, Web of Steel is not possible anymore. And yeah, it's our convey. I'll move back a little bit. Can we get the movement point and stay and shoot? Yes, we can. Actually, we have a little guy over there. Vorak Skin Flayer. I'd rather take out all the other enemies and let him live. I'm pretty certain it's a safer bet here. Especially considering that it already looks pretty good for us. This guy was able to disengage and is taking his legs into his hands. Also a literally translated German saying. Basically means he's running away. Now with Ogion that's going to be a little bit tricky. I don't want him to fight the leader by himself, so I'm just going into an average stance right here. If he tries to pass by or come in here, it's fine. We can still attack him, I think, with two more guys. There we go. And there you can see the damage output he has. Oh, whoa. Painful. But at the end, I don't think anything we need to worry about. The way he's going with his ranged unit is actually a nice position. That's a little tower. If he's going to get there. Oh, he's trying to attack. Very brave of him. A second... Oh! A uh, second two-hand weapon. I didn't expect that. And Ogion is down. I gotta admit, as so often. But then again, I also got to admit, I don't care about him. Uh, I shouldn't say that. That's mean. Uh, I think he's one of the units that has to go anyhow at some point. I could use the damage output of A new round Mr. Muffin over there. Oh, come on. This direct Metzer needs to die, so our ranged guys can collect the uh, token of him. The Lucky Charm, I think it's called, with the human mercenaries. I didn't want that. But better against Miss Pancake than against our other units. Since I'm not aiming to kill him, I will do the sidestep right away to avoid his counterattacks. Now let's see if that helps a little bit. Nope, not on the first one. The second one we are dodging. He has one more attack, I think. Or maybe even two. It's very painful for Miss Penka. I need to hurry up. What the other ones are doing there. Again, an essential part of my thinking here is... Oh, what the heck? That was not the essential part of my thinking. The essential part is getting the Chains of Chaos of the leader, and now I will as well try to get it out on the ogre. This, he has a little bit of an arrow through his head.
There we go. Horrendous pain with an open wound, which is reducing our uh, hit chance and increases the injury chance after our battle. So let's leave it like that for now. I don't want to risk any more. And Alak, it's your time to shine. Against what's his face? Johan van Mordburg. Yeah, just a little bit of damage. We really need these blue and purple armbands for our guys. But he's not the only one around. Actually, we have plenty of guys. I think I want to get the height advantage. Can we get even higher? Well, doesn't look like I can get up there from here. Then I saw something with a 50%. There we go. It's better than Thuriel. And we hit and we cripple the enemy. Should help Miss Panic X well big time. Carl. I'll let this guy be upstairs there. He won't be of any kind of help for his guys. Ah, there's another one. And now, um, I'm not going to move Carl over there because he could get attacked by the guy who's still standing inside and he would not have any way of defending himself at that point. So I'd rather have somebody else standing there. But nice damage output and Brands. This is your spot now. Show Johan what pain is like. Well done. That went better than expected actually even. And you will have to loot the lucky charm of this guy, what's his name? Ristarik. Objectives updated. Objective completed. Afterwards you will just have a little bit of fun with shooting around. Let's go for this guy. Oh, nicely done. Didn't expect that to happen like that. Now oh, these guys will have to come down, I thought at least. Didn't expect there to be such a narrow space where you can stand around. As soon as we move Mr. Muffin away though, that should be gone as well. Carl has been exploited, I think I will move Karnor up there after we cast another time our Chains of Chaos. Here, a fail in all alone test, but successful fear testing. Shouldn't help him much though. He takes the weapon of Ogion. It's not like anybody else would be using it, but I still don't like that fact. Well done, Brand. Two parries, no problem. So, Mr. Muffin. Start moving towards this guy. I'm not even sure if it's around here where we need to get in or is it the uh, other door. Anyhow, here's a chest, so let's take a look inside. Formula, Buckman's Ale, we take it all. But we also leave it like that. A new round has started. So, Miss Muffin, uh, Miss Pancake, try to do some damage against him. Just because you should be able to do. A yeah, pretty high dodging chance, this guy. Failed anyhow. And uh, now it's up to us to dodge properly.
Well done. Strong blow is very important to dodge. Also the regular attack to dodge. And with being crippled and chains of chaos, that was it about his attacks. Let's get a second one out there. I'm not casting against the enemy's leader. He should go down. Let's see. What I'm curious about actually is what is in their cart. Would be very risky though because there's another guy waiting just around the corner. Got a little positive effect. Not actually planned for that, but yeah. Why not taking it? Let's see what else we have here. Is there something to collect? It doesn't look like it, so I'm going to join the fight against him. Yeah, why not? He can use some beating. There we go. Let's do it one more time. Well done. Now we don't need to insult him anymore. He's insulted enough by just getting beaten up. You want for Morkborg? I hope you're going to die. Still need to loot afterwards the stuff, so I have to bring him down and hope that Karl will take the final hits against them. Crippling shot on Foralk, just to reduce his attack points even more again. Well, and I think we should really be able to get a shot out on the leader as well. Not the best one. With 80% that should actually work out as well. There we go. And now, Brands. Easily. The second attack, I'm not going against him, but against Gautier Feuerherz. For the only reason that I'm not sure if I would take away too much, uh, too many morale points and Swankel or nowadays Karl would be able to get his attack anymore. Well, would have worked out anyhow. Oh, nice axe, shard. This charm and the pistol as well. Complete. Just for some money. Can we get in there? Unfortunately not. That would have been the best for us. So now though I'm going to hunt down the remaining guys that are just hidden in the buildings. And he's not really that much hidden anymore. And there's a very tiny space where Carl can get into. The unfortunate part is that Miss Pancake is fighting the 